It's a campaign to beautify Chicago one block at a time. In this original report, we meet the South Side artist behind it all, who says it also sparked his own transformation. It's like I'm in my own world. It's peaceful. I don't hear anything around me at all. I don't see anything else but this wall. And sometimes it feels like the wall is like, the more it comes to life, the more I can hear it talk. Stephen Gordon's talent was hidden until an adult saw him sketching. I made my first big sale at 11 years old, 1994 at Jackson Park Fieldhouse. I made $20. Keep doing this for a living. Gordon goes by the moniker S dot art. Lowercase S M and capitalized A-R-T. So smart art, that's what I do. Garbed in a camo hat and paint splattered clothes, he creates uplifting murals in downtrodden spots. Born in places that no one wants to touch. He began at Block 37, then one summer at the Art Institute. I just study different styles of art, from realism to abstract. He hopes to inspire other young artists. If you want to have your own career? Start it. Just don't be afraid. I, I didn't, I was afraid at first. You just gotta go where your heart tells you to go. It's like hidden talent out here. Now that they see another person doing the same thing, they go out and do it. Here is Gordon's interpretation of the flag. I wanna keep it going. He left a steady job begging groceries and hasn't looked back. I have 13 murals now. I got to do, I'm booked until June. I'm putting my name across the whole entire south side and working my way up to the north. One building at a time. Pretty cool, right? Stephen Gordon's dream of becoming a successful artist is coming true, yet he will soon complete a series of murals at a Southside church with the help of at-risk boys and girls whose dreams he hopes will be a lot like his. Sounds like his uh, plate is full right now. Yeah. Pretty busy, huh? He is.